All right, so here we go. The problem with popular thinking is that it doesn't require you to think at all. It's easier to do what other people do and hope that they thought it out. I mean, I'm going to tell you, that's so true in medicine, it doesn't make any sense. That's right. Is that we don't really want to think. We want other people to think for us, and we just rather follow along. And I try and illustrate that with this little story, because that's what I learned from my dad. If you want to get a message across, you got to have a story that people can relate to. And this is the story. It's a story about a caterpillar called a processionary caterpillar. It's a type of caterpillar. And processionary caterpillars will pick a leader, and then a procession of caterpillars will follow behind that caterpillar leader. And that works great for those caterpillars as long as that caterpillar leader does what caterpillars are supposed to do. What are caterpillars supposed to do? Well, when it's time to eat, the caterpillar leader is supposed to take the caterpillars to the caterpillar restaurant so they can eat. When it's time to sleep, they go to the caterpillar hotel so they can sleep. When it's time to play, they go to the caterpillar playground and they can play. And as long as that caterpillar does what caterpillars are supposed to do, they'll live a long, happy, healthy life. But the problem comes, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this. The problem comes, and I know this, is a, this lighting is a little bad, the problem comes if this is the lead caterpillar. And if you can push and prod and intimidate and scare and give false information to this caterpillar and push and intimidate and prod and push and push and push and get that lead caterpillar to come around and see the tail caterpillar. Because it is a card carrying processionary caterpillar, it will assume that there's been a recall election and a new caterpillar leader has, has emerged. And so not to cause a problem in the caterpillar community, the leader just follows behind what it thinks is a new leader. So what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is, is that they don't go to the Caterpillar restaurant, they don't go to the Caterpillar hotel, they don't go to the Caterpillar playground. They go around and around and around in circles until they die, each thinking that the other Caterpillar is leading the line. Now, <clears throat> why do I give you that example? Because th I think that's what has happened in medicine. Our Caterpillar leaders are not doing what Caterpillar leaders are supposed to do. See, as long as that Caterpillar follow Caterpillar instincts, they live a long, happy, healthy life. But if you get pushed and prodded and intimidated, because see what, in medicine, as physicians, what should be our caterpillar instincts? Well, let me tell you, our caterpillar instincts should be science and physiology. Is that we follow science and physiology wherever it takes us. So if instinctively we follow science and physiology, we live a long, happy, healthy life. But when you let other things push and prod and intimidate you, like pharmaceutical companies and their bottom line, and not the patient's health being your bottom line, then you end up going around in these circles until you die. And in medicine, what is dying is our credibility. Because see, when you tell somebody to take Primarin for 30 years, they say, oh, don't take that. Tell them to take Provera for 20, oh, <coughs> celebrate, oh, Zelda, you want me to bring out the whole list, they'll take too long. The drugs that we put on, oh, you know why? Because we're not following science and physiology. We're, finding, we're, 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 we're following other people's instincts and not the instincts of us as medical care practitioners. But here's the problem. The problem is getting out of that line, okay? Now, it's two things about getting in that caterpillar line. Is that one, when you are in the caterpillar line, you don't know you're in the caterpillar line. Women. When your husbands are lost, driving around, do they know they're lost? No. <laughs> they say, baby, we, uh, we went by this gas station at least five times. And they're like, what you talking about? Why? Because he's in the Caterpillar line. You are over in the passenger seat. You're outside the Caterpillar line, so you realize that he's going nowhere. See, as long as you're in the Caterpillar, when I was in the Caterpillar line, I didn't know I was in it. But I messed around and listened to some information that brought me out of the Caterpillar land for just one hour. I listened to a tape. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh. and I looked back at what I was doing. I evaluated myself and said, I'm in a Caterpillar land. <laughs> okay? So, but until you step out, you don't know. And that's why I was telling somebody before, I said, you messed up by coming here. Because <laughs> we're going to get you out of the Caterpillar land for two days. And now you got to make a decision whether you're going to get back in or not. But let me tell you, there's plenty of people to help you make that decision. You know who will help you make that decision? 
everybody that's in the Caterpillar line. Because the people in the Caterpillar line, they're not going to applaud you by stepping out. They're going to talk about you to try and get you to do what? Get back in line. And in order to get you back in line, they like to call you certain names that aren't so nice in a professional setting. They call you names like quack, and voodoo doctor, and witch doctor, and herb doctor, and tree hugger, whatever you want to call them. Okay? Okay? So you've got to have two things. You got to have knowledge, and that's what this is about. And you got to have courage. You got to have the knowledge that you are in a caterpillar line and you need to get out. And you got to have the courage to stay out of line even though everybody else is trying to get you back in line. And here's the great thing. Knowledge gives you courage. And the courage will allow you to implement this with your patients. And then when you do that, you'll be hungry for some more knowledge. And the more knowledge is going to give you more what? Courage. 